Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. It's Purdue, NC State, uh, the much anticipated matchup of Zach Eady, DJ Burns. RC, this is another stylistic clash because you have height versus width. Uh, what wins out in, in matchups like this in your experience? Uh, you know what? It, it's... I, I think it just depends. I've seen both, you know, I've, I, you know, it's, it, it's the one thing that bothers you. It's, it's, it's so, you're so tall as a guy getting into your body. You don't know. And John, you know, this like a post, just a guy leaning on you the whole game. Cause that's the way Burns plays. Like, I don't know who's heavier between the two. That's first of all, but the difference is one is leaning on you and he's trying to fill your body. And and I don't know if anybody that Zach Eady's played against is going to lean on, and then he's going to spin. He's going to look. He's going to fill him, fill him, lean, and spin. It's just a weird deal. Now, if he stays between him and the basket, I think his length can bother him. But you know, he's starting to hit that little touch floater around the rim, uh, get Zach Eady on the move. Could he give Zach Eady some problems? Yes, and vice versa. They, they they're gonna they're gonna hang and bang each other all game long. Uh, and obviously. Zach Eady gets more touches. He'll do more damage on the offensive end of the floor. This, to me, the, the, this game is going to be one with the guards, the guard play. And I mean, mm -hmm. Casey Morsell, Jaden Taylor, th them dudes lock up. And, you know, it, whether it's going to be Smith, whether it's going to be Fletcher, whether it's Jones, one of those two, two of those three, they'll be guarding. Uh, who wins, though, the backcourt matchup, I think, goes a long way for us. Who wins this game? State just comes at you in waves and – and they've been they've lost some guys, man. So neither team is really, I would say, deep. You know, if anything, right. I'd say uh, Purdue is probably has a little bit more front line depth than uh, than NC State has. But with Middlebrook and Diara, I mean, they got enough. They got a solid rotation right there. So does Dennis Parker come back? We'll see. I don't know. Does LJ Thomas come back? I don't know. But uh, guard play. Who wins the matchup of the backcourt? I think is one of the more underlining stories. We're focusing so much on the bigs. I think the guard play is a big match, a big key to this one. Yeah, I, I mean, you got DJ Burns, who is maybe six eight. Dr. is six nine. You know, Middlebrook six ten. I, I think defensively, NC State's going to struggle with Edie down low. Lunch meat. Lunch meat. Lunch meat. So. <laughs> So, and, and also, and also, NC State's been fortunate that teams have went nine, I think nine of fifty-one from three this tournament as well. So a lot has been going right for them, but this game right here, there's going to be it's going to be threes and shots at the rim, and I think Edie can handle Burns. I don't think he gets into foul trouble. Maybe Burns gets a couple shots, right. but I don't think you can get. I would. I said on Twitter or X the other day, I was like sometimes you might have to double Burns because his scoring is so deflating. It's just so deflating how he gets his buckets. <laughs> and it kind of like it just it just gets the team down. Like like when you're in the gym, John, and, and, and a cat score and you like, hell no. And he keeps scoring, like that that hurts, right. bro. Like and so that's like, actually I'm me like, in the gym. That's that's when exactly. when, I, when I score. That's how people feel, like, bro. Like like Burns hit a left hand fade, <laughs> a left hand fade and jump hook. Like he had a left hand fade jump hook. Like, what can you do about that? You know what I mean? But Man. I think it's, I think it's, I think the time is up. I think that Purdue is going to take these cats seriously. I think Edie's going to be a problem. Yeah. Burns isn't the greatest defensive. I mean, when teams have had success against NC State, it's when they went at Burns, right? Pick and rolls and got him tired. So I think Purdue is going to unlock that game plan i think purdue gets to the to the championship hey. thank you for watching the field of 68 if you've enjoyed what you've seen here hit that like button share this link with your friends or check out the description for some other places that you can consume field 68 content